Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, OP Society here. Today guys, I have some gameplay from Savo, Whitebeard, and Sengoku. I have put them in the order from the, my most favorite to my least favorite, or from favorite to least favorite. So we're gonna start with Savo, which is, man, this man, the buffs that he got are pretty good. And uh, I think he's actually gonna be meta. So we're gonna take a look into the stats and everything that he got. I'll give you guys my final thoughts on all three units at the end of the video. For the medals, we got Triple Dress Rosa Luffy with 70% HP, 70% attack, and 18% defense. So from the traits for this character, the only thing that changes is 10% heal every time you attack enemies who are aflamed, and 50% damage reduction from enemies who attack you that are aflamed. For the tags, we have attackers, we have Paramecia, which is essential, deal more critical damage, and New World, which deals 15% more damage to the enemies that you're weak against. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we start the match, we go for the second flag because I see that there is a defender and I just want to let him cap the flag so we go to flag D, we grab the D, sus, alright, we chill here for a bit, we wait in flag C to see what's gonna happen, uh, to see if they need my assistance or not, and I also see that somebody was fighting in flag E, for now they seem to be okay, so... I just went up and uh, we activate a flame state, we jab jab, that's healed every time I attack an enemy who is aflamed, boom, healed, 4000 damage, not bad, not bad. I'm not gonna get that flag because I lose my status, I don't know how that skill missed, but we're going back for revenge, let's go, bada beam bada boom, he's done, I'm gonna let the runner take the flag, now we're gonna fight this Kaido. He thinks he's all tough. Look at him, look at him. Oh, there's a Jack too. Bruh, all right, we, we run away from Jack. He actually does a lot of damage. We're gonna, we, you know, we gotta be, gotta be a little bit careful when we play against Jack. There are a few characters that use, you know, you just don't wanna fight head on. Jack is one of them. Fighting this man head on, it's not smart. So we release skill two very fast. I like the, uh, the, new, uh, the new way or the, the new improvement to that skill, it's pretty fast and uh, I like it, it's pretty good. So, oh man, did you guys see that? Okay, didn't take a lot of damage because it was not fully charged. Every time I fight against Kaido, I'm healing. He's free healed, free healed, look at that. I'm healing, he's actually losing and uh, I got some, some, some some meat i was i didn't want to say meat but whatever all right we're getting flag c right now we chilling chilling i got rid of that uh kaido he's usually just free heals all around but you know i managed to knock him out matches against kaido are a pain in the ass because they can go either way i can either lose or they can lose he can go either way so we're just gonna stop them because i know my my team is not doing too well back there i think they're just coming back right now so bro i have four mofos on me i just knocked out one i'm about to knock out another one including that luffy boom yep oh uh, who was that i think that was i don't even know who it was but we knocked out somebody all right i got some help it is right here so i just wanted to land that skill before dying i knew i knew i was gonna die so and there's only uh 10 seconds left so pretty sure that kid got it um it's actually better because this guy was trying to take our back uh or our first flag so i you know i stopped him pretty uh pretty good pretty good ggs to everybody that participated <clears throat> ggs good games everybody now let's move on to the second character. 
All right, so the second character is gonna be Whitebeard. He's my second favorite from the buff. He is pretty good. And uh, we have, for the attacks, we have Attacker, we have Paramecia, 160% support. Uh, we have 70% attack, 70% defense, and I believe it's 18% HP. It's either 18 or 14, I cannot remember. But I believe it's 18. It should be 18. Might be 14. I don't remember it. Here I'm gonna show. Bada beam, bada boom. Triple Luffy set is the same that I have on on Sabo. With the only difference is that I replaced Res Rosa Luffy for another Luffy so that I can have my skill one back a lot faster. So that's for 30% cooldown reduction on skill one, and then almost everything else is it's 20%, 10%. It's a bunch of things. All right, so here we go to the actual gameplay. All right, so we have this beautiful map. I know everybody loves this map, Alabasta Night. I know, I know you guys love this map. I love it too. Yeah, right. No, nobody likes this crap. <laughs> this map is actually good for Whitebeard because if you tremor somebody and the tornado is coming or the sandstorm is it's coming, they can actually get knocked out because, you know, they're tremored and uh, you just let them die. All right, so we activate skill two, actually skill one, sorry. Uh, skill one to get the uh, attack buff. So that's 15% extra attack. Now... For the defense, we just have to knock out people. Uh, we either me or my teammates, and then I get, I think it's 10% up to 50%. So, all right, I see this man. This man is danger, man. I saw a free kill, boom, I took it. it. That was a pretty much a free kill. I saw that there was somebody approaching in the map. It didn't target the Kaku for some reason, even though I did tap on it. It's okay. So I was pretty low on health. I thought, let me, let me, let me buy some time. Maybe I can uh, refresh my skills. Then I went back. I was like, you know what? I got team boost. I should be okay. And boom, knock him out. We're gonna get out of the way because the tornado, beautiful tornado. Saw this man free kill. All right, I'm gonna let him get flag E so we can go and get flag C. He seems to be okay. Golden Week, boom, 20k damage, let's go, let's go, alright, we're just getting this flag, uh, I see nobody approaching, and he got some healthy mid, so I'm going for flag B, now we're trying to get flag B, I saw that man, I dodge, should have been a perfect dodge, but okay, I think that was a uh, 39k damage, um, I, I need to, I need to slow it down or, or, or check again but i did check when i was fighting when i was putting the clips together um overall this guy man his buffs are pretty good uh this man Akainu is still pretty much a threat he's out of the uh he's out of the magma state so he's free killed boom 40 percent i got uh 40 percent hp recovery because he was tremor he got four hits i saw that man I was just pretending that I was going straight so that I could hit him with skill 1, but his skill activated a lot faster than mine, so couldn't land that skill. Alright, so at this point I'm like, okay, it's only 15 seconds left, I'm just gonna throw this for the heck of it. <laughs> it blew up my face, Mofo, dude perfect dodge, GG's I mean, she, he perfect dodge. At that point I was like, okay, I mean, we got it, it's okay, we good, and yeah, we got it. All right, GG's to everybody that participated. Um, it was it was a pretty pretty good match. Let's move on to the next clip. All right, so last but not least, we got Sengoku with the triple dress Rosa set, twenty percent damage reduction. For that, we have seventy percent defense, seventy percent uh, HP, and I believe it's only fourteen percent attack so barely any attack um i did try an attack build but he was just taking too much damage way too much damage so i just went with full hp 
and full defense and uh it was working fine for the tags we have defenders and we also have straw hats those are the only two that i could get for this character actually i could have gotten more but i wanted that 166 percent defense or uh percentage all right so we move on to the fight All right, so the new string of normal attacks on Sengoku is pretty nice. It's actually really fast. It reminds me of Garb, probably a little bit faster, I'll say. It does feel a little bit fa a little bit faster. The third hit does not feel as as heavy as Garb's, but everything else it's pretty much the same uh, when it comes to normal. It's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we're just chilling in flag B, waiting for somebody to join i see there's way too many people in flag c i didn't want to go and join flag c but i see this kaido now so time to move type time to move so i moved behind the shield i heal a little bit that dofi just to get some points extra and um you know i'm healing i'm healing trying to give my team a boost we move out because that's how it's dangerous. Uh, he does take a lot of damage from Sabo. Alright. So we're just going around, you know, everything seems to be under control. And this Yamato came. So I said, let's, you know what, let's have a nice 1v1. Uh, she got a little bit of a uh, thread from, from Dofi, a little bit of Parasite in her. It's not a problem though, not a problem. So we, we attack, we uh, activate the bomb, so we can get that 30% defense up. That skill, okay, that, that skill right there, not my favorite. I, I don't even know. I cannot tell you guys how many times I missed that attack. So I, I was being a little toxic because he pissed me off. I'm like, okay, you're going to stay there? So I was telling him get more combos. <laughs> I was barely taking damage from this Yamato. I knew he was gonna do that, so and I was ready, so boom. Alright, good night. And uh, then we move to flag C because you know we're just not really doing much here. We're just chilling, chilling, chilling. I see that mofo going for flag A. So I activate my normals. My normals actually move me pretty fast, and the third hit has knockback, so that's why I was able to remove him out of that area. Alright, bada beam, bada boom. That's the trick with this man, you know, you don't let them go, you use spam normals, get close to them, real close, to scare them and boom, alright, knockout. Alright, I saw that, I think it's a golden week, yep, golden week, can fly B, activated the Buddha. We got her out, I don't even know how I landed that skill, I'll be honest man, that skill is pretty hard to land. And uh, it's pretty good because the knockback is it's insane. All right, so we go back to C, making sure that everything is under control. We activate one more time and uh, we finish the game. We complete it. We complete it. All right, GG's to everybody that participated in this match. All right, so I'm just going to give you guys my, fi my final thoughts about these three units. All right. Out of the three, I think definitely Sabo is uh, my favorite. I think he's the better one out of the three. He's the one that benefited the most from, from the buffs. Like the heals are insane. And uh, the only real trouble, the only real problem that you will face in League will be facing against Doflamingo, um, Akainu, depending on the situation, maybe Akainu. I did clap a few Akainus here and there, but uh, it was always a close fight, you know, you could, could have gone either way. So, uh, Kaido can be a problem when he's, his defense is max boosted or his stats are pretty high, you know. Uh, there's a few other characters that can give you trouble. Jack, it's it's pretty dangerous. He can one-shot you pretty much. Uh, the new Luffy, you know, just be careful when you fight that Luffy. But uh, yeah, Sengoku, in my opinion, he uh, he's viable now in League. As before, he wasn't really. 
at all. I don't think he was at all, but um, now he's pretty viable in, in, in league. Uh, not my cup of tea. Don't really like his game, his uh, his skills and and the the play style. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of Garp. If you like Garp, then you will probably like Sengoku. But you know, not my favorite. Um, probably, like I said, my least favorite of the three. Sabo definitely the best one. I would even go as far as to say that he's meta. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. Based on what I've seen and and uh, the people I've been fighting, uh, he man, like look look at this clip right here, clapping Kairos, brother. The the one I clapped before was a Luffy, so pretty good, man. He's pretty good. But all, all in all, you know, tell me what you guys think about these characters in the comments down below. I think Sabo it's probably my favorite out of the three. I'll probably be running Savo. Savo and, and, and uh, Akaino would be a good match. Pretty good character. Um, yeah, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video or live stream. Take care.